Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with 1967 Volkswagen Carmen Gear. Now this has 960 horsepower, 630 pounds feet of torque from a 4 litre twin turbocharged V flat 6 engine and the car now weighs 2032 pounds, now has all wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension and can now do not 16 2.877 seconds no, 71 seconds, sorry, and uh, 0 to 104.933 seconds, and it will do a top speed of 233 miles an hour. So, yeah, we've had a variety of Volkswagens from around the same period. We've had the Volkswagen Baja Bug, the double cab pickup truck, the uh, camper van, and the, uh, what is it, the Type 3 1600L. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what this can do in comparison, because obviously this is the uh, more sporty variant. So, uh, yeah gonna be interested to see what he can do so uh, yeah has around the same power as the previous ones I'm not sure whether or not this is the most powerful because sometimes depending on how heavy the vehicle is I uh, only go for 910 horsepower with this engine but I've gone for 960 because this is like I said the sporting version of the uh, same platform that pretty much every other box I'm gonna be trying on this series is based on so it's going to be interesting to see where this one comes, because uh, yeah, the uh, Type 3 kind of surprised me by how quick that was. Isn't the quickest, obviously the Baja Bug being the uh, off-road orientated version is the uh, fastest we've had so far. And uh, yeah, we've actually yet to try out the original Beetle, so uh, that's another lot of something we'll try out at some point. But yeah, this is dealing with everything okay so far. Some understeer and a fair bit of oversteer, but that's to be expected. Dealing around 900 horsepower more than we had originally. Sure does like to drift, but it's handling all the bumps and the jumps fine. the most grip we've ever had from a car in this series. They're struggling for grip actually. Which is why Rover's steering so much. Just cannot put that power down. Fairly quick across the finish line there, but we're pretty much on bang on with the uh, Type 3 there at 2 minutes 10 seconds 0 0.791, whereas the Type 3 managed 2 minutes 10 seconds 0 0.524, so we're only just over 0.2 of a second behind that vehicle, but that doesn't mean we're the third quickest Volkswagen behind also the Baja Bug, but we beat the double cab pickup and the uh, Type 2 camper van by a fairly large m uh, margin, and we're also quicker than the... Uh, International Scout 800A, MGTA Midget, Canon Maverick, Aerial Nomad, Cadillac Eldorado, Ford Transit and the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso and uh, not just behind the Baja Bug but also behind the uh, Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 and the Funko Motorsports F9 but yeah still fairly impressive especially considering again like the other vehicles that are like this from Volkswagen well out of and truly out of its comfort zone uh, with all the drive off road tyres, off road suspension, and way more power than it had originally. But, yeah, performed fairly well. Uh, again, despite the flaws as well, because, yeah, it has some understeer issues and plenty of oversteer issues, because, yeah, you could really feel the lack of grip in those rear tyres. Primarily because of the uh, extra power that it's dealing with, but also because it doesn't have the uh, a big and wide enough tyres, or the off road tyres weren't working for the car. But, either way, Despite all of that, it's still fairly quick and uh, yeah, far from the slowest. And uh, yeah, being third fastest Volkswagen is not half bad, especially considering I think this is actually a lot heavier than the Type 3. Let me just look back at my old notes. I've got them here somewhere. Uh, no, we're actually slightly heavy, uh, lighter, which might have played a part while having more power to deal with. So uh, yeah, lighter car, more power clearly there didn't work out as well as I would have hoped so uh, yeah but nonetheless still fairly quick and uh, yeah fairly fun to drive as well nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one
Bye.